Look at that. It's beautiful. No, look at it. The scourge troubles me. It's gone. The curse is lifted. The curse remains. The beast was born of it. A scourge made in equal measure from the treachery of the Newsmith sisters. Worse, though shaped by Thick Skin's betrayal, it was driven by Kate's. I feel like the greatest part of the story is still missing. The Newsmiths alone did not create the nightmare. Others in New Eden have treacheries to hide. I wonder what they did to earn such hate. Promises unkept, covenants broken, the curse has its roots in betrayal, treachery that led perhaps to grief. I will keep my word. We chose together. I know we did. I know you will. Did we miss a few? They never learn, do they? before it possesses the corpse.
bugger off, Kings. I love how you love animals. Those don't count. Do you need a moment to rest? Are you insinuating I am in some way a mere human? If you are, you'd be right. thinking so are you penny for your thoughts i was thinking of kate of the pain in her eyes when she saw that ghost as if her heart was breaking all over again i can't shake the picture according to her journal kate had had the courage to love a woman but betrayed her she must have meant this Deborah, whoever this ghost is. Her resentments extend beyond the new smiths. The sisters may heal if they can draw the family poison. Sisterhood can be complicated. Sisters can be handful. I knew a sister. Like Kate, I lost her. What happened? When I was very young, I had a friend. She was my chosen sister and very dear to me. I opened my heart. It was a mistake. I played with fire and was burned. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. I have a new family now. I have found the love of my life. Did you? Show me the bastard. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Rest now. I have the watch. I'll sit by your bedside until I must go. Come here. I want to try something. Hmm. Good morning to you, too. I think we can break this down, together. Sure, let me grab my pickaxe. Just trust me. Did you feel the way I tore the veil? Aye, I did. And we did it together. But I do. You brought me focus. That's plenty. Can you do it again? Oh, I intend to.
Strange place for a stockade. Farm ground, marshy approaches. Like Bannockburn, 1314, and the Scots beat the English. You won the battle, but who won the war? Dunno. It's not over yet. No! What a hole. New England is well named. Is Scotland more pleasant? No. Oh. Scottish climate's shy too. As is the food. And the music. It's an awful place. At least, that's what they tell you foreigners. Warming specters. Force them to appear with the right words of power.
Reveal your true self. I have another in sight. Take on a ghost. Standing by. Watch out. Spectre position. Vanishes. Stay that 
So, you dislike crows? Winged carrion eaters. They always bring despair. Maybe they just follow it. Well, look here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Perhaps there's a key. Hard to describe. It's like an anger rush, a focused burst of frustration. I can't imagine who could live here. Fog, mud, and misery. Reminds me of Hungary in '86. Not Christendom's finest, there are nobles of life. We were different then. My mother was always my penance. Get back up! I think I heard the sound of a gun. That's a witch's work. Could it be Seeker? We cannot be sure. Tread carefully. Oh, this stuff is thick. I can see just fine. Something feels off. The veil is thin here. The dead are many. Something. I'm as blind as a bat here. Not if you look through my eyes. you knock that gate down? There is no way I'm breaking this. Let's find something else then.
we want to stop for a wee minute, this place will do. Can I ask for help? There is something wicked placed upon this. I can sense it. You can just sense it? It's hidden even for me, but I can hear its dark will, like a curse or a spell. A curse or a spell? The Seeker could help us with this. Mossad. Oh, the banisher who died for her novice. Ah, the witch's novice. Ho oh, there, Anseya. Are you not surprised to see me? You're a little early, but no. Not surprised. 
On my return, Ceridian told me our poor wee banisher would turn up haunted. A haunted banisher. Well, it is funny, isn't it? What was that thing you fought? Thing? Oh, him. He's a bloody nuisance is what he is. Are you badly hurt? I've tangled with old Mossad before. A couple of minutes to myself and I'll be fine. Ceridian knew about Antea's ghost. Obviously. Not very bright, is he? If she knew Antea was around, why did she not tell you to tell me? Ceridian withheld that information from both of us for a good reason. Better trust her plan. Death is a part of life, Banisher. You know this better than most. I suppose she didn't want to break your heart again. You tended to him. Thank you. Ugh. I'm a good novice. I do what I'm told. You look like you need a moment. Can we help? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Some of my spirit chasers went out. Ugh. That's how old Saul crossed the hem. The hem? The hem. Where the fabric of the living world meets that of the dead. Ah. The veil between the visible and the invisible. Whatever soothes your soul, Vanisha. Rest. Heal. Tell us how to fix the spirit chasers. The spell is cast. You need only light them. Be careful. Old Mossad won't have gone far. Oh, I'll sit down now. Good luck. Have fun. So, how do we do this? We light the spirit chases with flint and steel, I guess, I think. You're within gun range. Take it in.
It's about to shoot. your focus. The veil shields this one. First spirit chaser. One more to go. I'll get you too. This should be enough. There. Witchcraft is easy. I don't know what the fuss is about. I'm sure your witch friend would agree. I think I'll just tell her we're done. What was crawled up that spectre's arse and stung him angry? A lost battle? A betrayal? Cowardice in the ranks? Who knows? <laughs> Seeker's vanished. She does that. She's over there. Did I see you talking to a crow just now? Yes and no. All ready to go then? Good. She's waiting for you. A witch is always this obtuse. A banish is always this ignorant. Come on. We're taking a bow. It'll be fun. No, we're going to New Eden. The nightmare's grip on the world is too strong. The fog is too thick. You cannot enter its stronghold. There's no way back to the meeting house. Not yet. And not without help. We've done fine on our own so far. You're dead. Maybe you're not doing quite as well as you think. 
You're blunt, but I take your point. We'll talk to Ceridian before we move on. That's better. Follow me. Careful. Don't rock the bow. Have we far to go? How far is far? Don't worry. You'll be safe. Safe? The Maya is home to many angry spirits. <sighs> but my mistress keeps them quiet. That spectre you fought looked like a harvester. Vanishes in their labels. He'll surely be back. So will I. The veil seems thinner here. Always has been. We call them the Maya Marshes, but the nearby tribes call it the Ill Mouth. Stay too long, you get sick. Is that why Ceridian's wards wane faster than they should? That is because she's dying. I'm sorry. Life's a journey. Death is but one step. This is almost as lovely as that ride through Hedengracht. All we're missing is the hailstones and the Russia at our heels. I'm sure we can arrange something. You do plan the best escapes. The spectres on the shore aren't moving. The marshes are well protected. Are those soldiers? That. Miss Duarte is old Saul's army. What can you tell us about your mentor? I could tell you quite a lot, but I'm not going to. She's a very old witch who's tended this very big garden for a very long time. That's it? Believe me, that's more than enough. Welcome to Ceridian's Island. There is much power here. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Like I say, welcome to Ceridian's Island. No, that's not quite true. I knew who I was, it's just... I was lost, and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was a beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or had. Possibly all three. And here he is, the other banisher. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. Have we met? Of course we have. Just now, or so later, decades ago. Never mind, it's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story, 
I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be for you both. I... thank you. But now you're here together, and I'm glad. Because you will only be able to end this together. Why have we found so little native presence in New Eden? They have been here. But they have never settled. Wise men and women know that the region, the Maya marshes especially, are rotten. Is that why you settled here? Here, the hem is thin and frail, and the Maya rich in agitated spirits. It is also secluded and hard to find. Both excellent reasons to remain. Here, we may hide away and mend the hem. You brought us here. Why? You have many questions, and I have little time. Your novice mentioned it. I am sorry. <laughs> I am not. Soon I'll be one with the trees, root and bark. But that is not why I asked you here. Dearest dears, the path ahead is yet unclear. But know this. If you are to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. How can we defeat it? How can we even begin to match its power? You surrender. Unconditionally. To each other. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled. But some yet live. Seek them out. Help them. The Nightmare won't like that. No. You are, after all, a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. To reach New Eden and retrieve my body, we must help the very people who created the Nightmare in the first place? Yes. Excuse my lack of enthusiasm. Can we not just go back to the meeting house and do our jobs? You must release folk here from her grasp. Only then, through the void, may you reach New Eden Town and confront her. How do we access the void? Is there a ritual? In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons, do not stray, and all will be well. Our Seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. I was teasing. How fun it is to see you squirm. There are many ways to enchant an item, or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too. Thank you, Ceridian. We'll be off. Before you leave, tell me, 
What did you choose? What do you mean? Each of you made a promise to the other. What was it? What did you choose? I chose to go. Mm -hmm. How difficult it must be to follow this path. The greatest of the great mysteries elude us all. But have faith. For there to be peace, there must be an ending. The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Funny looking spinning wheel. Do you weave with it? Of course. <laughs> I weave essence, Red McGraith. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick. It's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there want us dead. This must be one of the breaches Ceridian mentioned. Yes. This is a void breach. But yours are a little further down, in the cave. You'll see. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town since the bridge burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? The Nightmare is strong. She has New Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp, and maybe, just maybe, you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. You have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. We found a cursed object. An object? What object? A chest, locked and evidently cursed. A curse could mean different things, depending. What do you think happened? We found it in the wilderness. We think maybe someone bound a spirit to it for protection. Ah, I do believe you found a chest belonging to Fear God. How do we get it open? Why would you want to open it? That's demonology, and I'm not one for stepping in no demonology. Even if old Fear God wasn't the worst. But from what he told me, Fear God Waterbury, the man, not his ghost, kept a ritual of unbinding in his breviary. Do you have this breviary? No, but I know he can find it. He spent his last years in seclusion, deep in the dark woods. Go northeast from the hunter's camp. Keep to the east side of the trail until you can turn south. You should come to a clearing. He had a hut there. You forget things sometimes, so here. I'll write it down for you. Void walking. Can you tell me more about it? I use it to leap from one breach to another, as Ceridian taught me. I don't dally, nor should you. Why not? The void is terra incognita. I suspect Ceridian knows, but isn't saying. Bad sign, that. Very bad sign. I'm curious. What do you think of the nightmare yourself? I think... The Nightmare is the child of our father's iniquities. And of our own sins, too. Do you admire it? I fear it. But I accept its wrath. As I accept the rain. And me, Eden, surely deserves the flood. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. I do so enjoy our little chats across the hem. Let me get this right. We are looking for a breviary belonging to a demonologist that Seeker met after his death. All this 
in order to learn how to cleanse malignant spirits bound to cursed objects. Remember Balthazar H. Frenhofer's teaching. Efficient, adaptive, versatile.